Good evening, hi Aaliyah. We're your hosts, Isabella Diaz and Rachel Gonzalez. It's a beautiful night out today, isn't it? Indeed, Isabella. Perfect for outside activities. Or, as FBLA students will surely be doing, preparing for the competition. Isn't that right? Their FBLA state competition will be taking place in Orlando, Florida at the Hilton Orlando Resort by SeaWorld. It will be held the weekend of March 16th and they're already studying in order to become more successful this year. Unfortunately, the High Leo Gardens High School FBLA team did not place as states last year, but they have come back stronger than ever. In the words of the club's very own dedicated treasurer, Shayla Martinez, it made us want to get recognized at the state leadership conference and qualify for nationals because it's something that reflects on our chapter's hard work and dedication. In an effort to qualify, they've begun regular tutoring sessions and activities to help motivate members to strive for success. And oh, they're motivated. <laughs> States is an opportunity for members to meet new people from different backgrounds and values, which helps them understand all the goals that FBLA promotes to its members. Attending conferences and leadership seminars help get a better insight into how to accomplish certain goals in the business world. You got that right, Rachel. They'll be finding out if they qualified for nationals at the state conference. So best of luck to these dedicated students. Don't be silly, Isabella. They don't need luck. With all the preparations, they've got this. <laughs> With the start of a new track season right around the corner comes the intense preparations for each event. Trinity Socorro, known by her peers as Roadrunner, and one of Hialeah Gardens High School's very own regional championship winners, gives us insight on what it takes to be a track star. I'm always excited when track season starts again. I love running, so when it comes time to practice with the team, it always brightens up my mood and makes my day. Last season, Trinity participated in the 4 by 400 meter race, where a group of four competitors each sprint a lap. This year, she's excited to start training for the 400 meter dash, a very competitive event amongst our districts. Along with Trinity, Hialeah Gardens High School has received multiple awards from other students. Daniela Cubilete, Angeles Morales, and Tommy Cardenas, amongst others, have competed and placed in numerous events. Well, Rachel, track and field is not just about running. The high school has their own shot putt throwing competitions as well as hurdle jumping. Well, that's incredible. It's amazing to see such hard-working students excel at such a young age. It wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the track coaches Sid and Howell. Both work very hard with the boys and girls track teams to motivate and offer guidance to each runner. The coaches encourage each runner to practice every day after school from 2.20 p.m. to 4. With all that running, maybe these kids will be able to chase after the thieves from our next story. Since September of 2015, there have been approximately 300 reported bicycle thefts each year in Miami Beach alone. Local authorities have been on the lookout for a roaming band of thieves responsible. According to police reports, Miami Beach has become the epicenter for these bike peddlers, preying on the trusting residents who leave their bicycles unattended and without a lock. The bikes are often sold for much lower than their initial price, often less than 10%. This means a bike price at $700 could be sold for as little as $15. Understandably, the residents are quite furious seeing as how there's nothing that can be done to get them back unless they have previously written down the bike serial number. This has become a growing issue in our city of Hialeah as more reports come in from local high schools across Miami-Dade County. Joshua Morales reports live from Hialeah Gardens High School, where many students commute to school on bikes. Yes, Isabella. With the amount of low-income students that come into the school, it's no surprise that tons of them come rolling in in the morning on their bikes. Although this is not a problem in this school, students should still be aware of the situation and how it can affect them. Well, Joshua, what can they do to prevent this? Students can buy bike locks, and the administrators can do a great job by supervising the parking lot. Oh no! This is one of the thieves. I have to call the police! Wow, thank you, Joshua. That was unexpected. Hopefully it wasn't a cycle path. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. This has been GEH News. Thank you for watching.